Wow! Lou Grant is an American drama television series starring Ed Asner in the title role as a newspaper editor. It aired on CBS from September 20, 1977 to September 13, 1982. The series was the third spin-off of the sitcom The Mary Tyler Moore Show. The show was created by The Mary Tyler Moore Show co-creators James L. Brooks and Alan Burns, along with Gene Reynolds. Lou Grant won 13 Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Drama Series twice. Asner won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series in 1978 and 1980. In doing so, he became the first person to win an Emmy Award for both Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series and Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for portraying the same named character. Lou Grant also won two Golden Globe Awards, a Peabody Award, an Eddie Award, three awards from the Directors Guild of America and two Humanitas Prizes. Lou Grant works as city editor of the fictional Los Angeles Tribune daily newspaper, a job he takes after being fired from WJM-TV in Minneapolis at the end of the sitcom The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Grant mentions several times on Mary Tyler Moore that he had begun his career as a print journalist. Given the shift from comedy to drama in this show, the nature of Grant's interactions with others is toned down. References to Grant's oftentimes excessive drinking, which had been an ongoing comic theme on Mary Tyler Moore, were de-emphasized on the new show. The rest of the main cast includes General Assignment Reporters Joe Rossi, Robert Walden, and Billy Newman, Linda Kelsey. Kelsey joined the show in the fourth episode, replacing Rebecca Balding, who had portrayed reporter Carla Mardigian. Managing editor Charles Hugh, Mason Adams, an old friend of Lou's who has convinced him to move from Minneapolis to Los Angeles. Assistant city editor Art Donovan, Jack Bannon. Photographer Dennis Price, Daryl Anderson, usually referred to as Animal. And widowed patrician publisher Marguerite Jones Pynchon, Nancy Marchand a character loosely based on a composite of real-life newspaper executives Dorothy Chandler of the Los Angeles Times and Catherine Graham of the Washington Post. Recurring actors who played editors of various departments included Gordon Jump and Emilia Delgado. Peggy McKay had a recurring role as Charlie Hume's wife Marion. Despite the show's connection with the Mary Tyler Moore show, None of that series' other regular characters ever appeared or were even referred to. The only MTM character ever seen on Luke Grant was Flo Meredith, a childish veteran journalist and Mary Richards' role model and honorary aunt, played by Eileen Hackard, with whom Lou had had a brief fling while in Minneapolis. However, lead actors from other MTM shows did appear in guest roles as other characters, including Jane Rose and Julie Kavner. The episodes often had Grant assigning Ross and Billy to cover news stories, with the episodes plots revealing problems of the people covered in the stories, as well as frustrations and challenges reporters experience to get the stories. The younger reporters are frequently seen turning to Lou for guidance and mentorship over some of the hard questions and moral dilemmas they experience as they work on their stories. The series frequently delved into serious social issues, such as nuclear proliferation, mental illness, prostitution, gay rights, domestic violence, capital punishment, child abuse, rape and chemical pollution, in addition to demonstrated coverage of breaking news stories, such as fires, earthquakes and accidents of all kinds. The series also took serious examination of ethical questions in journalism, including plagiarism, checkbook journalism, entrapment of sources, staging news photos and conflicts of interest that journalists encounter in their work. There were also glimpses into the personal lives of the Tribune staff. 
Lou Grant was a spin-off from the Mary Tyler Moore show. Unlike the Mary Tyler Moore show, which was a 30-minute sitcom, Lou Grant was a one-hour drama. When the Mary Tyler Moore show ended its run, that series' co-creators and producers, James L. Brooks and Alan Burns, had a commitment to create a new show starring Ed Asner. They decided that it was easier to retain the popular Lou Grant character and make it a spin-off series. Mary Tyler Moore had already established that the character had a previous newspaper career. Brooks and Burns' decision to make the spin-off series a one-hour realistic drama instead of another situation comedy was influenced by the 1976 film All the President's Men and how that movie depicted the operation of a major newspaper. Gene Reynolds, who was producing the TV show MASH at the same time, was also brought on as a co-creator and executive producer. Gary David Goldberg was a producer for the series. The theme music, Lou Grant, was composed by Patrick Williams. The cancellation of Lou Grant in 1982 was the subject of much controversy. Asner served two terms as president of the Screen Actors Guild, in which capacity he voiced opposition to the U.S. government policy in Central America and worked closely with medical aid for El Salvador. It has been Asner's consistent position that his political views, as well as the publicity surround them, were the root causes for the show's cancellation.